Now, the government of Ghana has expressed commitment to principles of accountability. This follows the official launch of a performance tracker aimed at ensuring transparency and accountability in the execution of infrastructure projects across the country. There's more in this report. On August 18, 2020, Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia introduced the delivery tracker as a website to monitor the Akufuado government's infrastructure projects across the country. During the State of Nations address in Parliament on February 27, President Akufuado announced the launch of a performance tracker to address the long-standing concerns about the accuracy and reliability of information on government's projects. Launching the tracker on behalf of government, the Minister for Works and Housing, Kojo Ponkrumah, emphasized the importance of maintaining standards and delivering tangible results. The question remains from 2020 till now, what does my government do with my money? A lot of work has gone on, as Professor Piedu mentioned, and that work is what has led us to what we call today the performance tracker, or what some will call the tracker 2.0. The URL uh, will read performancetracker.gov.gh. So what is the performance tracker? The performance tracker is, first of all, a database. It's a database that showcases the performance of the government of Ghana. And it showcases it through various projects that have been executed across the 261 districts. And this database has two interfaces. One is a website. So you can go onto that website, www.performancetracker.gov.gh, and you can access that database. The other is an app. Today, the mobile phone is a very powerful tool. And what it does is that it showcases the performance of the government of Ghana across the 261 districts, across the 28 uh, ministries, and across the 16 regions. Now, it's an enhanced version of the 2020 tracker that the government put out. The minister designate for information, Fatima Bouakar, highlighted the role of the tracker as a fact checker for government's project. She encouraged stakeholders to access the platform and provide accurate feedback to enhance the effectiveness in showcasing government's achievement in various districts. In an era of misinformation and disinformation, it is so easy for someone to sit on any platform and say, in my district, government has done nothing. But we know that we have not put DCEs there with allocations of District Assembly Common Fund and IGFs and special projects and over seven to eight years period, not a single project has been done. We have taken the narrative into our own hands to make sure we tell the story and empower all Ghanaians in the media, CSO, academia, and the general public to take the pain to navigate the platform to see the project themselves. If because it's a digital platform you are not so sure, but you want to proceed to visit the communities, you are welcome. We are even more interested in your feedback because we are confident in the data that we have put there. With over 13,000 projects executed across the country, government stresses that the performance tracker will serve as a platform for maintaining accountability and ensuring that government projects across the country meet the needs and expectations of the Ghanaian public. For City News, I am Christopher Kevin Asima.